Medaf. Good morning. Welcome to another episode. Uh, I'm a daff. XF. I've just woken up. Not in, a, not in the best of mood to be honest. I've just woken up in a daff XF. So, this is a rental truck. Um, all the trucks were out yesterday when I started work. Yesterday morning. Um, so literally, there's no units, there's no trucks to pick. Uh, there was, I had a choice of this or going home. So obviously, I'm not going to say I'm going home, but it's a DAF XF. I don't like it. Um, this is how this is how much room I've got. That's it. I can't stand up. Look, can't stand up in it. There's not enough lighting in here, it's probably just too dark. There is two poxy festoon bulbs there, not very bright. All the, by the way, all the lights in the truck are on right now, oh, apart from that one there. And there's another one over there, actually. Let's get it right, there you go. That's, that's as bright as this gets. As you can see, there's nothing, there's no, there's no storage really, apart from up there. To be fair, yeah, I'm not really utilising up there. I could fit my bag in that locker there, I could do. But, you know, it's just a bag. So I've got my bag of, my box of tricks down there, which is usually all my cans, gas, cookers, stuff like that. Uh, fridge, because this truck doesn't have a fridge. And I'm just keeping my towel over the top of it, because I can. Um, it's a double, that's a bed, this bed comes down, but at the moment it's just used for storage, you can, you can pull it down by, don't, don't do this when you've got stuff on there, but you pull this down here, and then you pull it out, and then the bed will lower, but when you've got stuff on, don't do that, and it's just going to hit you on the head. Um, the only good thing about this truck is it's got a comfortable mattress, it's got a thick extra comfort mattress. Um, which is a daft mattress is quite comfortable to be honest um, this is poverty spec uh, it comes with a free yogurt comes with two cup holders and then you can swivel that to make it bigger way technology Wow um, what else does it come with uh, it comes with a a bottle holder there and some kind of drawer there. Look at that technology on that stereo. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, so the only three features this truck's got on it is lane departure warning and adaptive cruise control. And that is it. We have one outlet there one outlet here your manual heater control type um, thing um, we've got another outlet over here which is a hella socket so it's useless unless you've got a hella lead which I don't have one with me um, I thought I bought one the other day but I didn't I just bought a normal a normal adapter so yeah that's that's it really this is your box standard Salford van I just remembered something. There was a there was a driver who, who came into work for Maxi and I think he's left the company now, but he came into work for Maxi and because there wasn't a Volvo available, he went home. He said, no, I'm going home. That's uh, that's some snobbery that. I mean yeah, I don't like driving a DAF XF. However, it's a truck, it does its job. 
anyway, today I've got, uh, I'm just taking the Liverpool and I've got to, I was going to collect a trailer, take it round the corner to Elton full of glass. I don't have to do that anymore. I'm now collecting a trailer which has got cement on it and something else on it. Last time I did it, it was a fairly heavy load. It's going to Birmingham and then Huntingdon. Um, the Birmingham one, I think I've been to this Birmingham one twice now. Uh, which means I'm going to get muddy boots. Because it's been raining and their yard is always wet for some reason. A change of plan. I am now not picking up from Liverpool docks, I'm picking up from Heysham or Heysham ducks, ducks, docks, whichever way you prefer to pronounce it. Um, so, after I've made my cup of tea, I've just uh, went to open the sugar and it went everywhere. Luckily, it stayed inside the bag. Shouldn't be lying that in here. You'll cause a fire explosion. No, I actually won't because the gas, I'll leave the gas off it because this people say this to me quite a lot. Um, because I've seen a video on YouTube from 1990 where somebody has obviously had a gas leak in his cab and it's been leaking for a while. It's lit a light and boom. I take my gas off my cylinder every time, uh, off my uh, jet boil every time and I put it on light it done so um, yeah so that's the plan now I'm still going to uh, Birmingham and Huntingdon uh, so solo is Liverpool to so collect in there and then Delivering Birmingham. So I've got the trailer there. Deliver to Birmingham there. Deliver to Huntingdon. There. The time is. It's time to get going actually. <laughs> Right. Yeah, it's definitely time to get moving. As soon as I boil them off. Um, just filling in my paperwork for the day. Start time, start location, departure time. I'll, I'll put that in when I start moving in a minute just before I start moving. Then I write down what I've got to do today so far. So first one is Solo Liverpool to Heesham. Flat Heesham, trailer number, reference, deliver to Birmingham, deliver to Huntingdon. So, and then I just add, add on to this. And I've usually got a spare piece of paper as well to uh, add more on. And I will keep this, I usually keep this here, that way it's handy. need some milk. I've moved the fridge over here now. Oh, I need that cheese to fall down. Do you want to see what's in my fridge? I'll show you in a second. My fridge, current temperature sets, well, the current temperature is two degrees. It's actually set to six degrees. So what it usually does is go down a few degrees and then it just like sorts itself out. So I've got some salad there, some, Mature cheddar grated cheese, some party sausages for like snack things, some yogurts, some butter, some Philadelphia, some smoked ham, cheap stuff, some chicken, cheap stuff, milk. 
that's all got in a fridge that needs to be chilled. Good fridge that actually, a really good fridge. You'll go down to minus 12. I know there's a speed camera, I can see it. Anyway, I'm gonna kid in there. I'm not that stressed out. Um, I'm going through Armskirk to get to Heesham. Now, if you don't know where Heesham is, it's, it's up, up on the map. Um, so I've got two, well, a couple of choices really. Um, back down the 62 uh, to get to the M6. Uh, that's 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 not good. That's 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 blocked. The M6 North actually is broke as well. So it's saying this way is going to be two minutes longer. However, this is less distance and less traffic. So instead of sat there on the M6, nudging forward every few minutes, I'd rather be going this way. It's going to save fuel, distance is shorter as well, and I'm going to get there roughly the same time. So there's no point in going sitting on the M6 really, to be bored. So yeah, that's why I decided to go through Ormskirk instead. Uh, Ormskirk is north of Liverpool, if you don't know where that is. Uh, most of the residential around here, it's, um, the road is 40, I think it used to be a 50. I thought it was going to be a bit quicker than it is, but the road, I think, I'm pretty sure it used to be a 50, this road, but now it's a 40. Ooh, it's getting a bit chilly out there. I've just stopped for fuel. I've put in half a tank. How much do you think that's cost? Have a guess, bit of fun, and I'll tell you a bit later on in the video. Oh, I'm at Lanc Lancashire Services M6. Let's go. Oh, and by the way, it's a big tank on this. Not the biggest, but it's, it's fairly big. Here we are at Heesham or Heesham, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Let's see the miserable sods on security because they are miserable at this point. You have reached your destination, Shaw Road. Can I see truck? That's a bit of a long one, isn't it? Crane, Chesterfield Cranes. It is a crane. Right, I have my trailer. Um, I said, you know what, Lane? It's honest. It's somewhere around the perimeter, somewhere. <laughs> What's that one over there? That's nine four seven. So we'll uh, we'll go on the perimeter, shall we? It's a good idea. I know where it'll be. It always is with sea truck. It always seems to be at the other end, over the railway line. I'm still looking everywhere else, so keeping my eye out. There it is. adapter didn't mean adapter I meant control pad not much 
room to swing it out of here to be honest with them over there 15 foot 3 I'll change that in a second not much room at all to get out of here I struggle on this is the only one I know that ever stalls when you do a tug test nearly uh, before I forget actually I put a post out on the Road Legends uh, so on my Twitter not the Road Legends um, <clears throat> about a new YouTuber called Trucker Jenko um, Welsh driver experienced um, good attitude no dramas kind of guy um, I'd rec recommend going watching his videos um, I'll put a link in the description below uh, I think Luke recommended him recently as well um, but yeah definitely worth a watch um, so if you're getting fed up with the usual YouTubers and you've not found this one uh, go and have a look Trucker Jenko um, can't really recommend him enough to be honest uh, I don't really watch that many YouTube truckers uh, but I've watched a few of his and I thought yeah this guy's got the right attitude, so yeah, yeah, there you go. And he gave me a shout out the other week. There you go. Right, what a palaver I've just had. It's taken me an hour because I've had to restrap the load down. Now, I did a quick little video on my phone, so I'll insert that video at some point after I stop talking. Um, Minnie's asking me for some help. I hope you don't worry. She's never been on a plane on her own before and she's got Ryanair tickets and she, she's asking me, I don't really use a fly Ryanair, but my mate does, so. You will arrive <laughs> at your destination at 4.49 p.m. Oh, okay, so it's a four and a half hour drive. Um, I'm currently on my break at the moment. Um, so this is going to Tollington, T-A-L-L-I-N-G, T O N Tollington, Tollington, <laughs> Lincolnshire. I've only got the paperwork for one drop. Um, paperwork for the other one is missing, but uh, the company is going to um, send it over to them, and then I'll go there. It's probably it's going to be morning now. Um, but anyway, it's, it's it's quite far. It is. Well, it's just near Peterborough, actually. So I'm guessing the other drop is in Peterborough. Where's the other place? Huntingdon. Where is Huntingdon? Oh, it's further down than Peterborough. Yeah. I knew it won't be too far from there. So anyway, um, as soon as we finish the break, we'll crack on. And before I forget, I'm just going to change the date. <laughs> this is not the date. However, uh, somebody thought it was a date on the other one. Nope, we're not 13 foot. We're not 14 foot. We are 15 foot. Three inches. I set that to the actual correct trailer height. That is what it says on the trailer. Um, and I set my sat nav to slightly higher than that. Um, <laughs> just to give me some extra clearance bridges and stuff like that um, so yeah um, I'll insert that video now it, it, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed with that no straps
shocking. Loose. Loose. There was no straps across the back door either. No side straps. You can see all that shifted. Alright, let's get the frig out of here. Very tight on that left hand side there. Should be alright though. And we're clear. Right, so if we get stopped by voting now, then uh, should be alright with the trailer. Break time is over. Time to go. Let's be careful then because a the car sneaks up the inside trying to uh to get past me. So this is the only place in the country that I know of where you join in the third, la third lane and as we all know, HGVs aren't allowed in the third lane
annoying. Okay. So, it's morning. It is seven o'clock. I've just started my clock. Uh, one minute to go. I'm gonna go and do my daily check. Um, sort all my wires out. Find my paperwork. Because I don't know where I put it. It must be somewhere. Ah, got it. I wanted to Google what time this place opens. And uh, I've not done it yet. I know the lighting in here is absolute pants. It's just, it's just a daft. You know the best feature on a daft XF? Well, it's got its quirky three window wipers, which is strange, but it works. The best feature on a DAF XF is that tray there. I don't know if you can see that. I really can. It fits your laptop on it perfect. Not very good when you're when you're trying to eat though, because you it's a bit. Uh. But yeah, um, that's the only good feature on this particular DAF. Apart from that, it's useless because you can't press any of the buttons or get your cup from underneath it. So we're here in Tollington. Tollington. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We need to Google this place. Right. Ah. Google. Doesn't have any business hours. Yeah. I'm sure that's the right road because I, I use it cross reference it with the uh, with the road name on the paperwork. Can you see me? No? It's alright, I've been told to look better in the dark anyway. Or is that a UB40 song? Let's go. Right, let's see if we can get out of this lane. I can't see what's coming because there's a truck just pulled in behind me. Making it a little bit uh, tricky to see what's coming. and it's a little bit cold, it's zero degrees. A little bit chubby, a little bit hairy. Come on you dinosaur, let's get going. Well, I think the camera can see through the fog better than I can actually, but it's really foggy. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm near the uh, destination somewhere. It's saying it's on this road. It. 
it's it's in a concrete factory where else would it be This place needs uh, hazards, but I'm gonna whack him on. He's got his beacons on, so. You said hang right and follow it all the way round. We're here. I've been waiting outside for a long time because I couldn't get on because of that lorry there, and there's another lorry delivering down the street. It's a tiny street. Have you, have you spoke to you? No, nobody spoke to us at all. I've rung Gaffer up and he says nobody spoke to us at all. I swear. Same with our place. But he says last time we tipped it, two weeks later somebody come back in because it won't for us. <laughs> right, have you got an email address that can send it over to you? Yeah, send it to me. Right. Ugh. Do you know the address? Gene, send it straight to me and then we'll tip you straight away. Right, okay, I'll give him a ring now. Right, it looks like somebody else is going before me now because the paperwork's not in order, i.e. I don't have any. And I was promised yesterday that it'll all be here ready for me when I, when I get here. Not the case. drivers
drivers there. In fact, this is the lorry I took off him the other day, and these are the one I should have had, but that one stinks of diesel. Right, let's put her off. I need to pull over actually in a second. At the end of the road, turn right, Cleave Road, then turn left. I just thought I'd stop for a 15 minute break, but uh, it's looking a bit full. It's like I'm not stopping here. Rear steer on that. Strange why that needs rear steer, such a tiny thing. Right, we appear to be here. Uh, dog food or dog things. Uh, you have I've reached left. your destination, dog way. If it is dog food, it's going to be pallets and it's probably going to be slabs of it. So I've left my ratchet straps in the trailer. I've not put them away. Ready to chuck over. What are you doing, baby? You parked or you. What are you doing? You're busy this newspaper on a break. Right, got a bit of a sweat on. Hands are filthy. I just wanted to get out of there, so. I'm washing when I stop. Um, I've got a four and a half hour journey now to Holyhead from Crick. And to replace your old truck simulator, we'll know where Crick is. Anyone else, mate, doesn't know anyway. Um, so I picked up uh, dog food. I weigh 38.4 tons with me not in the truck. So it's not a full load. I can tell it's not full load because the wagon's not. <laughs> so um, after 300 yards, go right on the. I'm going to be hitting traffic. Third exit. I've got uh, what we're on there to. I've got an hour and 45 minutes before I need to have a break. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Um, it's going to take four and a half hours, I think he already said that. It's going to take four and a half hours and uh, that's where I'll be ending my journey today. Only had, I'll not be doing anything after, after that. There's a car just broken down. That's uh, on the right there, that is a Vox, uh, a DBSA test site. Slow traffic on M6, roadworks between M6 J2, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Go, 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 go. I won't actually, I'll arrive there about 8.20, 8.30. Um, yeah, I couldn't be going to touch with, that, with me today. He asked me if he wanted to try out one of their TVs that's made for trucks, cars. Um, and init initially, so oh, M6 shut up. Works. You will arrive at your destination at 7.40 p.m. So, about the sat and I'm annoying me, talking every time I want to um, talk. So they, they've asked me if I want to try out this TV. It's, uh, oh, shit. It's a, a 10 inch TV, which is. Slow traffic on M6, roadworks between M6 J2 and M6 J5. Really? Two minutes delay. Now talk. So, uh, yeah, I'll start again. There's a, a company asked me if I wanted to try out the TV and um, do a review on it. So I said, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. But first of all, I had a look at it because I thought, well, you know. 
don't want to do a review for a, a crap product, so let me just slow down a bit and let this guy in. Because he moved, he did move out for me. Um, so, I had a look at the features on it, and it's, it looks like it's got some quite good features, and the price of it is, is very good for what you normally expect. Yeah, the screen's not massive, but I mean, I don't need it to be massive, really. It's just, you know. Anyway, once it arrives, I will, uh, I will show you it and uh, see how it goes and that. And I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, but the price is, uh, the price is very good to be honest. Uh, and I was actually looking for a TV fairly recently. Um, so what I can, I can do is I can plug a PlayStation or an Xbox into it and it's still it's fine. Uh, I can also plug a laptop in, in, into it. That means it can close the laptop lid, which that's power hungry that laptop. Anyway, we'll let you know when I get there. So, we're going the back way. We're going down the A5. And the reason is, the M6 is knackered. So I thought we'll go this way instead. since I've been this way. Right, we've made it to Holyhead. That was an epic drive. I know why I don't go that way often and it's pretty bad at night because actually it might be better at night because you can't see the drops that if you go over you're dead. Phones tell me it's time to go to bed if I want to get a full eight hours sleep. Uh, I never sleep eight hours. It just reminds me that I need to go to bed soon. After 100 yards, turn right, then at the end of the road, turn left. Perfect. Good morning, YouTubers. Or as fast as Fox would say, tubers. And I keep getting messages, or I keep seeing messages saying, as fast as, fast as Fox died. No, he's not. Whoever started them rumors off are just idiots. He's not dead. I don't know why anyone would say that about someone. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I've had a couple of people message asking is it, if it's true. It's not true, no. And I'd like to know where you found them because I'd like to go and put a note on it. He most certainly isn't, unless his truck drives itself. Anyway, today is, now is not the next day. This is the day after. Yesterday the memory card was full and if I'm completely honest with you, I thought, I thought right, okay, well what I'll do is, um, I'll, do I'll download the card off it and um, onto the computer and then I'll free up some space on the memory card but in reality I didn't so yesterday my day consisted of going from Holyhead which is where I am now funnily enough um, from here to where did I go yesterday oh well, that's it I, put, I picked up a trailer from the port I took it to the Hollyhead trucks to get the trailer repaired because it had an ABS fault. Did that, took it to. I took it to our depot, I think. I can't remember now. Picked up another one. Went into Manchester. No, I didn't. I delivered the, what was on it from Hollyhead, I remember now. Delivered it what was on it. Then I went into Manchester, then I picked up from there. Then from there, went to Liverpool, from Liverpool back to our depot, from depot back to Holyhead, which is where I am now. I've collected the trailer last night, and I'm gonna deliver it this morning um, in, oh, I can, 
what time are we on? 7.45. So anyway, I need to go and pay for parking from last night. I've got the trailer on, board, on, on the back, so. Uh, I'm gonna go for pay for parking. I do get it back. I do claim it back and I get it back. Maybe not straight away, but I do get it. Um, so this is going to Chester. Not sure what I'll get after that. But I was reading the, the, the delivery notes for this and it's not until three o'clock. So if they, if they do what they did last week and send me away, then uh, I'm gonna be sat in Chester for several hours. Right, let's turn that night heater off. It's too warm now. Put it down a touch. I don't know why the dashboard is making a strange whirring noise. Like something's turning. I don't know what it is. Anyone know? Let's go. So got ten minutes for the air to build up. Have anyone? Beautiful sunrise. Always is it. This is where I got that picture of my truck with that sunrise. Or was it? it might have been sunset, I can't remember where it was last time. It must have been sunrise. Bloody hell, look at that over there. Left on the roundabout and take the first exit. That, that yellow truck there, that waverers, waverers. It's not like them being so far away from Chester services. That's some parking now. They just blocked the whole road. <laughs> there was a business there as well. What is it? Red sky in the morning. Shepherd's morning. Red sky at night. Shepherd's delight. Was it sailors? I can't remember. I don't care either. Follow towards Bangary Sequoit for 30 miles. Bangary Sequoit. Oh, I've just been stuck behind this lorry here. And uh, I, I went to see who's anyone sat in it anyway, coming in from the shop. I was like, Ron, he's like, I don't want to be in your swear word video. I don't know if he was being nasty or funny. Anyway. I'm just stopping here for uh, light refreshments. Well, let's get off the mud there. Oh, two minutes and I'm not blocking anyone. Be here for a while. Possibility. Did I get you? No. Damn. <laughs> uh, you know what time's going to be on this, don't you? Fucking stupid o'clock. Yes. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Last week they sent me back, sent me away, so. Right, at the moment, it's just that the fence is full. Yeah, so... not surprised. As soon as we can, I'll give you a shout. Okie doke. 
So, I've been waiting for two hours in the holding area and now there is one, two, three, four, five, five little trucks in front of me. Uh, so I'm going to be waiting a little bit longer and it's roughly around about 30 minutes per truck. So one, two, two and a half more hours and then myself three hours. Time now is 12 o'clock so the tipping time that I've got is actually three o'clock so <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah. Oh well I might as well make myself some food. These are moving up a little bit so I'll I'll uh, I'll move up and then make myself some dinner. Not a lot else to do, really. Okay, so whilst I'm waiting, the answer to the diesel the other day was three hundred and sixty-two pounds. I just realised. I've lost one of my parking tickets. I mean, paid to park tickets. Where could it be? I have no idea. Right, my turn now. However, this guy is taking forever because he decided to do all the straps up on the loading bay, even though there's about six trucks waiting. Oh, you just get off. You just get off. And especially if you're not someone's waiting, you get off and do it somewhere else. And now he's faffing around doing his paperwork. Come on, man, move. So, oh, please just open the barrier, don't make me press the button. So, I've been here. Five and a half hours. I'm only just leaving now. <sighs> Stupid hard hat on. <sighs> That's a happy bunny. And now, last day as well, they want me to go into Manchester, pick up from Manchester, rush hour, head over to Liverpool, have a break on the way, rush hour, tip Liverpool, pick up Liverpool, bring it back here, bring it back to the yard, rush hour. Not a happy bunny. So, I've got two choices to make. I've already made it though. I can either go clockwise around the M60 and get stuck in traffic, or I can go anti clockwise around the M60 and get stuck in traffic. So, I've opted for the anti clockwise. If you're Americans, that's counter clockwise. Um, Simply because this usually moves faster this way after the jam. You can usually get off pretty quick because everyone's pretty much leaving the road. So that's what I'm opting for. I've just had somebody try to change the lanes whilst I'm literally 10 feet behind them on in this middle lane, overtaking. Anyway. Whoever it was must have been uh, must have been clenching the trousers because they only just missed me. So uh, yeah, I just looked in the mirror and I didn't see him make contact. I was like, thank God for that. I mean, there was literally it was in lane one. 
they must have been doing 25 mile an hour stuck in traffic they must have thought well i'm not I'm not waiting this i went to overtake and realized i was there Slow I, mean, traffic I, I was doing about traffic jump ahead between 56j1 and m60j1 four minutes delay so I'm going, 4 I'm going to arrive in, at the destination in Manchester Middleton at about 5 o'clock this evening, which is obviously rush hour. Load up there and then hopefully I'm getting the tail end of rush hour, getting out. Look them all on the other side of the motorway, closing because they're moving and I'm not. <laughs> well, traffic, yay. Yep, still the same, only a bit further down the road. So, an extra 15 minutes of delays have been added on, just because of the time of the day, really. Trying to get out of here or letting, getting someone to let you out of here. I know everyone wants to be home, nobody wants to sit in the traffic, everybody wants to be at home. <laughs> I don't blame people for not letting me out. I'll tell you what does annoy me though, when I let people out and they don't say thank you, that really narks me. That's why I don't even look anymore. Come on then, little shoe. You may enter. You're welcome. <laughs> right, let's go a bit further down here, then we'll jump in. Changing lane behind me, brilliant, perfect timing. You want to get out, Lowy? You better get over the lines a bit before the car behind gets around. Too late. Always letting him out. Very nice of him. <laughs> <laughs> 